Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and this is the Citadel server and we are hanging out here at the Westhill River Inn just outside of the town of Westhill. Something I've been working on for the last three years and we're going to pick up where we left off on Thursday and try to finish this little cottage. Uh, we were working on the back garden and a little bit of the back hill here last time and I want to finish that up and I want to get in and finish up this side section here with the gate uh, I want to put on some flower boxes and put some details inside and we also have this path and I think I like the idea of bringing this down to that little dock so we might try to carve something through here if I can make it make sense I'll we'll have to see it's a little steep but we'll figure it out Mind Trip Media kicking off the stream with 100 bits. Thanks ever so much. Hope you're having a good day so far. Got uh, Gappy, Crosshatch, Dan, Glass, Jordan, Sweet Sandy. Good to see everybody. Dosage. Hope you're having a good day. Do you have plans for Satisfactory 1.0? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to continue my world. I'm going to continue the Devastator build. Um, I, might, I might see if I can use some back-end tools to copy the... Uh, experimental Metroplex build into the Devastator world because it's that's all grassy fields and then I would have the grassy fields and the rocky desert populated with all kinds of stuff it's all gonna break so there's gonna be a lot of work to try and fix things and redistribute things but I don't want to start over like I've got a thousand hours in that game I really don't have the desire to start over in it so we're just going to keep on keep on going that's the plan um i do i do plan on streaming on the 10th on the september 10th on launch day so that'll be that'll be a full day starting over is daunting i mean starting over is clean uh, my uh, starting over in that game i would i would make a lot of changes to how i did things however uh starting over in that game would mean i would lose my megatron diluted fuel power facility that has something like 116 fuel generators like i just, i don't want to be without power <laughs> again i think that's my biggest hang up there uh so the last time we were here we finished up this kind of unique looking garden and there are some textures around here that i need to fill in and i think we will start with that since the inventory is pretty ready for that i also feel like i need to do a little bit more with this hill so one of the reasons we changed this hill to green is because I wanted the fence to stand out, right? But we've also we're running into some brown. So I need I need to take some bushes and bring them over this way, which I just need more moss and more carpet. That's the wrong button. Who's participating? Oh, Ender Cup. I see what you mean. The only person I know that's in the Ender Cup is Gemini Tay. I don't even know what the Ender Cup is. I really have not been paying close attention. That should be good. I think I can put some of this stuff back. Keep those. Gonna have to dump some of that off soon. I don't think I need the hoe right now. And I don't think I need the bucket either. Dosash says, yeah, I plan on starting over, but with coal unlocked, hunting for bushes early game is painful. But with coal unlocked. Coal unlocked? You get coal power a lot sooner now, I think, is one of the changes. Or is it trains that happens a lot sooner now? 
They've made some big changes to Satisfactory. Sweet Sandy says, I don't mind early game Satisfactory, and if you start on the right place, Cole isn't that far away. Yeah, I think that there's there's an interesting kind of combo there in Satisfactory, where sometimes starting over, it's the, I think the joke is that like your first your first factory is is garbage and your second factory is huge and garbage and then your third factory is where you really start to hit it off <laughs> you really start to understand the concept All right, so I thought I'd just take a crack at some of these textures here. Um, don't want to double up on it too much. Pretty good. Now, in here, I feel like we could probably end up having a bush. That, or I want to add something like a sign in here. So it's either that, or we do a bush on either side. No, I can't put anything there. I think I like that. Now here we can probably get away with some sort of flower box or something maybe with trapdoors I think I'd prefer that over a larger garden although maybe we could do some moss here and then just fill this in. That's not bad. Uh, and then maybe here we can get away with the signs. Maybe not. I kind of like that actually. Maybe we can get in here and add in a fern and then bone meal that. Oh, I already had some. That's pretty good. Curious whether we could get away with some flowering azalea, though. I don't want to take away with from the uniqueness of the flowering azalea out back, though. 
I think that's okay. Flower box for pink flowers? I don't know about pink. They might clash a little bit. I might want to do something a little bit more unique. I'm not sure whether... I'm not sure what we could do here. Complementary would be blue, but there's no... Well, allium might look okay with the, with the purple. We did some allium over here, although that would be a lot of allium in the same area. Um... We did orange tulips over at the at the pumpkin farm. I'll have to come back to it and figure out what I want to do. The only unfortunate thing with these trapdoors, of course, is that they take up the whole block space. underneath this feels a little bit more intentional now we also have some stuff out here. I don't think I want to do carrots or anything. It would be fun to have probably flowers out here, but that's going to depend greatly on what we have for block positions. So let's grab the flower box. Probably bring both. Yeah, I don't think I have one of everything. And the Shulker Island is really growing. Uh, I don't think I want to do anything that's two blocks tall. Maybe? I don't know. Yeah, I guess that's okay. I 
don't think I want to do pink tulips. White could be kind of fun. Doesn't really match. I don't know if there's much that does match. I'm pretty sure that tulips are going to be weird. Orchids might be nice. I don't mind the blue. Not enough inventory space. Yeah, I think I want to go with cooler colors rather than warmer colors in the garden. The blue A's are always an easy sell too. No, I think I prefer the blue. So we've got this data pack on the server that puts uh, double flowers sometimes. So there's a good example. So like single versus double. And so what I try to do is I try to find where the doubles are and then place them there because it looks more robust. Although I might bring in more of this lilacs. And then maybe use a little bit of the pink petals. That feels a little funny. What if we flip that? No, I think just single was better. Yep, so what I'll do is I'll make some changes here. I can't go any darker, I don't think. But I can go lighter. What is in here that should not be? Oh, two different kinds of beehives. What FOV is right for me? I use uh, 70. That's what I find the most beneficial for me.
So I can't put anything... If I put dirt there, it'll turn to grass. Um, can't put anything here, so this is where I'm going to put, I think, some mud. I want to put a different texture back there, but I can't think of what we could put, because I... Nothing that I could put back there would allow flowers to grow on it. There's no other dirt. It's just dirt, coarse dirt, grass, and rooted dirt that allow flowers, right? Can anybody, can anybody think about a different block that, um, that you can put flowers on? That's brown. Podzol, yeah, but Podzol is very red. I don't think puzzle would work here. We'll give it a shot. Mm, it's not bad, but I think I prefer the dirt. And we'll go with a little bit of pink, maybe. Yeah, mud's really dark, though. Mud's not brown. I think that works. better with being able to see it uh, maybe here now here's an opportunity we could put something useful and it would be really cool we have an opportunity here where we could put like a drain spout so like we could put in maybe a um, cauldron this is my favorite part of a build is when you've got it kind of down to like how you want it to look but then you're going around and you're able to just twist and add final little details except for the whole inventory problem I don't know why I have three stacks of puzzle in this in this landscaping thing. I never use it. I should reduce that to just one stack. Uh, probably cobblestone. The blue kind of goes with the flowers. Although, maybe we only need the one. Oh, if I have... No, you can't put... Can you put mini blocks on the bottom? I don't think you can put mini blocks on the bottom. If I can, though, I'm doing it. I don't think this will work. I know you can put them on the wall. No, I didn't think that was going to work. Iron bar is going to connect to the sides. Maybe a copper lightning rod? Do these oxidize? Remind me, I don't think they do. That's too long.
Some, I wish you could put, like, for example, here's a good example. Like, it doesn't make any sense to be able to put candles upside down, but it would be really cool if you could, because then you could use them for all kinds of things that aren't candles. There's nothing that I can think of that goes upside down like that in Minecraft. That's smaller than a block. All right, I think it still reads. Fine. And then underneath that, we could go with something like soul soil. Does it look wet? And that provides a darker texture that I want. And I'm pretty sure that you can't put flowers on soul soil. I kind of want to check this out. You can, I've been missing out, but I'm pretty sure because it's got that hitbox thing that you can't do this. No. You like using hoppers for the top of downspouts. That's a good idea. Uh, yeah, I wonder. That might look a little bit too big for this scale. It looks a little mechanical. But like imagine a dark gray candle just getting that down that little bit farther. If you could put candles upside down. That would be a fun data pack. Just being able to put blocks on the bottom of blocks. Or on the sides. Like imagine all the cool sci-fi stuff you could do. Or weird things that you could do if you could put sand candles sideways. I'm not saying you could light them on fire. I'm saying if, only if they're that way could you light them on fire. But how cool would it be if you could place candles like that and have them stick out sideways? You could put like horns on things, you could put spikes on things, you could just it would just be really really interesting. I think I like this only because the art direction in the area I have used walls for gutters already so i feel like it works better although i like that idea of the hopper on a larger scale i think that would look really cool all right well that didn't take very long to finish up that little front garden that's that's great uh let's put some more grass and stuff out here do we like the jungle trapdoors. I like that we can see the garden through them. I think they're good. I think I'm going to keep this pretty simple through here. Oops. Oh, do I maybe want to go with the carpet there? No. We'll go there. Oh, do I want to change the way that that path goes? 
Maybe I want this to be coarse dirt. Yeah, it's a little bit better. Yeah, it feels a little bit easier to walk. Uh, mansions or factories like that hoppers work. Oh, totally, yeah, on a bigger build. I, I agree. I don't know if a chain would look good. I feel like the chain would just be confusing. Although, I've seen chain gutters are a thing. Like, it's a real... It's a real... Uh, technique to have water run down from your gutters so rather than having a gutter thing that you have to replace you have a chain and the water just runs down the chain I find it a little bit dark and distracting so I think that again in a different situation it could be better I think it's a scale thing. Jamie STL, you heard about Joel from the Spawn Chunks. Well, hey, that's me. I think that's fairly simple, but I think it's working. I do have some carpet out here. Yeah, I think that's good. Uh, I might take a crack and see what it's going to look like to have those um, nails on the... Uh... Oh, I'm low on the brown dye. Do I have cocoa beans? I don't. I guess I just bone meal some jungle logs. cocoa beans first. Where did I put those? Prop, maybe? Oh, no. Where? I have the cocoa beans. They're in, they're in the here. That's what those are. Jeez. I was looking I was looking in my inventory for that which I obviously did not have
I think this is one of the few farms that you can't automate. Like you have to be there in person. You can get, you can harvest them with stuff, I think, but you can't, um, you can't plant them. You can't put them on. You can't put them on the, um, on the tree. Oh, that doesn't look all that good. What does it look like on these? I think this is the one that I wanted to do it to. I should see them side by side. I think it's going to look better than the black. Really subtle, but I think it does the trick. I think that's the only time I use the signs. Yep. Now, for the ones down here... Maybe I'll try the dark gray, although I think the dark gray is a lot lighter than I want it to be. Yeah. Oh, well, that's fine. We'll just go with black. Now, do all of these have... This doesn't actually have a gate. Unless I wanted to make one. Which I'm not crazy about. Got them. Get it there. Got it there. I think we're good. So out here, I want to be careful. I don't want to do stuff like putting a bush there because then it touches the walkway. So I've got to be more subtle with what I do here. And it's probably going to be a combination of um, ferns, maybe. Nice and center on the block. I think we lucked out there. I think that's a good look. I don't think we want to go bushes right up to the walkway. No, it feels narrow. Why do I wear iron leggings? Because it makes the server a little bit harder for me, but not for any of my um, server mates. And I didn't have a lot of netherite when they made netherite a lot harder to get. So I just put it on the things that I use the most. I think... Yeah, and then the gold helmet is for um, piglins in the nether. Also, welcome back, the real pickle. Good to see you. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Um, I want to put something else there. I don't think I want to do flowers. It needs something, though. 
Need something. That might be it. I like that. So a lot of times you see me switching out the texture in the moss and the trick that I like to use is usually when there is a pathway that I want people to notice, I'll put the lighter blocks sometimes near the mouth of the pathway. So same thing here, like it makes it more noticeable. And so you tend to look that way. Uh, I use toggle to sprint Cappy. I think it makes the most sense. All right, let's see if we can clear a little bit of the inventory here. I don't need that. Done with that. Before the sun comes back up, let's give ourselves some more room in this grass box. So dark in the crypt. Super creepy. Look at all the mobs. Yeah, visit the crypt in the dark. I believe forgot the sunscreen. Yeah, that's subtle. I like that. I think that worked out quite well. I don't think I want to do anything there. I think that adding more more brown would be too much. Uh, I don't think I want to do brown. I like the way that that stands out. So here could probably be more blue flowers, I guess. Yeah, hopefully we'll, we'll luck out. And I need some of this. That worked out pretty well. Yeah, I like the blue as a complementary color to the slightly orange tinge. Probably moss. Oops. And do I have? No. The blue does pop. It's. A, I'm worried it's a little bit too strong.
not using much of this wool. I should put it back. The other thing we could try is cornflowers instead. Just so it's not the same blue. Or vice versa, maybe because we can see this one so clearly. We'll use cornflower there. Nope. I like that. It's more subtle, but I think we're going to keep, keep that the way that it is. So I was thinking about putting something along here to decorate this, but I don't know what. I don't think I want to use ladders. Buttons might be too much. I think I looked at doing um, buttons last time. And I was between, oh, it was stone buttons was the other thing I wanted to check out. I, th I think I tried spruce. There's no other. Acacia's too orange, that's too red. Spruce, birch would be a no. Jungle. Where did you learn to build and where did you get your inspiration? Inspiration comes from a combination of other Minecrafters as well as inspiration from concept art, things like ArtStation. If you go to artstation.com slash Joel Duggan, then you can also look at the people that I follow uh, and take a look at some of the art that I that I follow there. And um, I do I follow a lot of concept art for video games. I When I get inspiration, I try not to use Minecraft builds. I mean, sometimes I do. Uh, a really good example is we based the block palette for the pumpkin farm here, we based that off of uh, this image, which is from Evolution 213. And so that was the rough idea for the inspiration for this look. I made it my own, I kind of did my own thing, but you can sort of see where I got the kind of palette from. I use more spruce and it's a much smaller scale. I It's successful enough, I guess. Something that I will do the next time I attempt anything like this, like if we come back to the a medieval area and we do another city, we another, do another town, which I'm sure I will eventually do, I will build the buildings larger. I think I'll be going with bigger roofs and uh, maybe instead of a three block height, I'll be maybe going four, maybe even five. So that might be too subtle. And that's going to clash a bit, I think. I'm not going to be able to put them everywhere, so i got to be careful with that. So maybe we do like just those two. I don't know. They don't really work for me. Uh, so then other Minecrafters, I, you know, I admire what B-Dubs does on Hermitcraft a lot. I really like Iskal. I think Iskal is a really fun builder. Uh, cub fan as well. I it's it's not like I copy Cub fan, but I really admire Cub fan's imagination. 
And then the obvious ones like Pearlescent Moon and Gemini Tay. Um, Scar is also really talented. I don't always enjoy the subject matter that Scar uses, but that's not saying they aren't good. It's just like I you wouldn't I wouldn't build a train like he's doing. That's not really my jam, but of course, whatever he sets out to do, he always does it so well. And um it must take just absolute hours to get that level of detail. So yeah, no to the buttons. That's frustrating. Uh what else could we try to put there? I don't think ladders are going to look good. I think they're going to be too light. It takes away a lot of the simplicity, I think. Uh, Scar could build a garbage can and make it look cool, yeah. Uh, Mumbo Jumbo this season is really stretching his building legs. You're right, Gappy, I agree. And uh, I like Mumbo anyway, just because I find his content very entertaining. Uh, it's really fun to watch someone play Minecraft that gets the same amount of joy out of it that M uh, Mumbo does. Um, I think I would put uh, Tango Tech in that in that uh, category as well. Someone that I really admire their builds and the but the fun that they have is just palpable, right? I'd really like to get Tango on the spawn trunks. I think that would be a really fun conversation. I'm trying to get this to fade off into dirt. It's challenging because it's not very big. All right, so we've got that done. This could probably, I think I had grass there. Yeah. This feels a little strange. I kind of wonder whether this would be better off as dirt. Hmm. I think I had it right the first time. keep forgetting there's a bed right here the first hour of the stream is done break time thank you very much sandy appreciate it thanks for the lurk alistair appreciate it of course would also be interesting to hear him reflect on decked out too now that it's been a while yeah yeah i think that that's what i would like to talk to tango about we've we've i've talked to impulse very recently on the show about uh the crafter and redstone and stuff but then i also i feel like um tango does this wonderful thing where he essentially like makes games within a game and i find that really fascinating especially with his background as um i think he, i think he worked in game design like i think he was a coder in in, in game dev I ran out of moss. Uh, I need to take a break anyway, so it's probably a good time to just take that now. Um, we'll have to figure out what's going in this space. So if you've got a thought on what we can do in this patch, uh, obviously we're going to have a path go down here. Uh, I think that'll work. I don't think I want to bring it around the back. I think I want to bring it down like in like a little S-curve here maybe. Um, but I really have no idea what's going to happen here in this space. And I don't want to do just like another rock or something. I kind of want to make it something more interesting. I don't think I want a tree here because it's going to block the view of the inn. Right? Like a tree right there is going to block everything. Um, we could have the tree maybe off to the side a little bit. Like maybe right here. Which would be interesting, but 
I mean, it does feel very flat through here. I feel like it needs something to cut the face, but anyway. Uh, I am going to step away. I do this once an hour, folks, if you happen to be new to the stream. Gives me a chance to refresh my water. Gives you a chance to grab a snack, grab a friend, grab yourself another drink, whatever. Let them know we're streaming. Uh, I do try to spread it around. I'm trying to grow the channel. I'd like to increase the number of views I get. So if you don't mind, if you like what you're seeing, there are uh, posts on Instagram and on Twitter slash X at Joel Duggan. Very easy to find. It's a story on Instagram, so super easy to share. I'll be back in five or six minutes.
The real pickle, you just got back from a trip to St. Louis. Right on. I've not been to many places in the States. I've been through Maine, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, but only driving through. I've gone to New York City a couple of times. I taught in the Catskill Mountains for a summer. Uh, Utah, I've been to Utah several times. Lots of great hiking. Mostly podcasting conventions, but lots of great hiking. Farthest west I've ever been is California, but again, only because I flew through San Francisco to get to Utah. Which seems crazy, because it's an hour and a half back to Salt Lake City after you switch planes. Where was I a teacher? I was teaching at the Timberlake Camp. Unrelated to Justin Timberlake, it's just the name of the camp. Uh, I was in my early 20s, so I was teaching uh, arts and crafts. I'm kind of curious about that tree now. If I throw a tree there, what would it look like? Where would I want it to be? I think like right there. If I walked like dead at that area. So it would have to be kind of like right here. So if I just throw something together real quick here. Just of curiosity, I wonder how that would look. Yeah, the summer the summer teaching in the Catskills was pretty good. Uh, the nice thing about that is um, there's nowhere to spend your money. You're just you're living on camp. You're bunking with ten year olds and taking care of them and making sure that they're doing all the things they're supposed to be doing. And then you get paid like I think it was a decent amount of money. It was like twenty five hundred bucks at the time back in you know two thousand. No, it was before the World Trade Trade Center bombing. So yeah, it was summer of two thousand. And um, because of that, it um, it was great as a savings mechanism because. You made like 3,000 bucks or more by the time you got it all back into Canada and you had nowhere to spend it. Like you could, you could drive down to the city, but like you're only off for like 36 hours. No, 24. Yeah. 36 hours at a time. Once a week you'd have off and it was like Wednesday into Thursday morning. So we used to get up on Wednesday, super early, drive down to, can't remember what the town is. Is it Queens? That's North of New York. We park in Queens, take the bus or the transit into New York and go to like a matinee on Broadway and then come back. And that was fun. Uh, so I like the tree, but unfortunately it sort of blocks the inn. Or really blocks the inn. I might make it smaller. I think maybe what we need to do is, is make it lower. On, like not start on the top tier, but maybe we make it on the bottom tier. So then the tree part is actually like from here maybe would be good. I don't know. It feels a little strange.
a little bit more what I think I want. We'd obviously make it fuller and look more natural. I think that's the right height though. Because now it doesn't block the in. It doesn't really fill in that space I was talking about though. It's just kind of off to the side. I mean, again, we'll make it look a lot nicer. A decent idea, though. I like from this angle, too. I like that it gives us something in front of the wheat field. I guess we just have to be careful we don't copy that tree. That would be the only thing. Maybe instead of leaning uh, this way, maybe I should lean it like th like down the river that way so like on an angle that might be a little bit better that could work a little bit better yeah We'll work on it. We'll work on it. Uh, I had to step away. Have you decided on what to build in that area since you got back? Oh, no. Um, this building? This is just a cottage. This is just a little... It's just a basic little one bedroom, one kitchen, one table, one chair sort of little cottage. It's got some unique kind of plants and stuff in the back, but that's it. It's nothing too... Nothing too fancy. I was hoping to finish it today, but I feel like it's I'm not going to quite get there. But that's the thing I was talking about the other day. I tr I'm trying not to rush the process. I feel like this wants to be brown. But then that makes that really strange feeling. Maybe I can make this that and then Oh, I needed more moss, didn't I? Oh, it's definitely going to be a wonky tree. You have a funny way of finishing things while finding new things to do. Oh, yes. That is 100% a skill I possess. Yeah. I think we might have to make this brown to make this look like the path continues. Like, I don't like the way that the... Trying to add some gray to subtly shift from one to the other. But by doing that, 
I seem to be uh, cutting the path off. I'm definitely considering this path as part of the build. I think that works. I think it continues the gray, but it helps curve you around the corner, but doesn't actually cut the path off. Nope. Hopefully that works out. No, the, the, the property that this place kind of possesses is all within the fences. So there's no real spot for like a pig pen here. This, I want this to be more natural, kind of like you're walking down the road, side of the road thing. I mean, we could do something simple like adding bushes or something here, right? something simple like that but i just i don't know it, just, it feels kind of cultivated at this point i want it to be a little bit more natural looking I think maybe we switch those. Actually, maybe we'll put this here. Sure. Oh, that's too bad. That doesn't go there very well. What about something more useful? Barrel would be maybe too much. I'm wondering if I could use this space not as a flower garden, but maybe we could use it as something more interesting. This 
So here is where we have to think about the path, but I'm going to change my inventory for that. Looks okay for now. mud a mini block barrel that might work yeah what else could we put there crate anything that's going to be there is going to stick out and be the same depth as the gate post. I don't think a chest would look that good outside. We can try it. Armor stand barrel would be a good trick as well. I don't mind that. Maybe like a tool chest for the garden or something. Not terrible. This still feels kind of empty. Yeah, that works okay, I think. So tricky. Yeah, I think that works. Run low on rooted dirt too. I think I've got a data pack now that I can craft that though. Trying to get a little bit of texture going on, not something too crazy.
Hmm, maybe I'll put this in the corner. Nope. Not the right tone. This is where working at this scale becomes really challenging. I think we'll switch those. That's better. Now we could maybe get away with that there. Like an old area that's been smashed down by feet over time. But then it's really hard to match it up with something else. Maybe we'll get a trapdoor. Elkhorn95, welcome in. Good to see you. Always happy to have the mighty Elkhorn kicking around in chat. It's that or I reverse it. This might be the way to go. Yeah, that's good. Still not crazy about that area. What I could do is put like a tool leaning up against that. That would help fill in that space a little bit. And then I'm not sure what we could put there. Maybe a flower pot or something. Do you ever do tours? Because I've seen... Never seen all of West Hill. Uh, Real Pickle, you can go to Joel Duggan VODs on YouTube and watch all of it built up however you want. You can go through chronologically. You can look up things by build. All the, all the titles, it's like The Citadel, uh, The West Hill River Inn, Part 1 through 10 or something. And then it's like The Citadel, The Lilac Farm, Part 1 through 13, like all that kind of stuff. Uh, the tour that we did a long time ago was Alistair and myself when we walked around the whole server looking at some of my builds, but we did not touch on West Hill because it was still very much a work in progress. I was out of something here a minute ago. I don't remember what it is. Oh, how do I make Root of Dirt again? And where do I keep it? If I remember correctly, the data pack that we have Maybe do this offhand. Did 
definitely faster now I remember I just use regular dirt yeah that's the way to do it my friends data pack for the win Uh, moss and rooted dirt, I think, is how uh, we do it on the on um, Infinity Cove. I think that's how they have that set up. Hmm. It's a little bit more room than I thought I was going to need, but I think that actually solves my problem. Because then I just have to put something there, and I think I do want to put a flower pot there. I think it would look good on the packed mud. What I should do is build more of those. Yeah, and then I'll put maybe a shovel or something. Leaning up against there, that's probably good. Uh, anything this way? I kind of want this to be dirt. Yeah, that feels a bit better. I don't think I want it to be rooted dirt. a little repetitive unless I switch this These two are bugging me. Um, I guess I could just rid get rid of this. No. Probably just me being silly. Concrete powder as well. Yep. Really out of concrete powder. Okay, uh, let's do sand. Gravel. Brown dye. Stock you back up. 
Beanstalk, you back up. That is something I really like about endgame Minecraft, just being able to pop in and do that in just a second or two. Less than a minute, you're back in business. This is where I really miss my pebble texture in my uh, my coarse dirt. I need to get that working again. Whoops. I just did that. be too much I don't know yeah maybe we'll leave it like that Well, I think that's the pathing all textured. Not missed anything. We haven't really done this, but I kind of feel like we could include this path and this green space and this tree as like its own video. Like I feel like we could do that on its own. Right now I'm feeling like focusing down the house and getting that finished. So everything all around here is done. Oh, I haven't finished the flower. Uh, what flower do I want to put there? A blue one? I really hope we can get a decent, a decent um, blossom out of it with the data pack. These are in the wrong box anyway. Survey says, I think that's a double. I really don't know. We'll find out with the cornflower it is although that's really off to the side and there's nothing darker we can put it on or stirred is the best we can do there do we want that to be up there like that or do we think it might be a little bit more subtle to have it down here peeking through the fence If that's the case, we might want to switch this as well. Although you can't really see it. Maybe we just get rid of that. It's weird how they're just like nowhere near one another. 
Feels very strange. That fills the space out a little bit better. I think I like that more. It needs some sort of jungle down here to kind of tie it all together, so I think I'll leave it like that. Oh, we haven't done this part here. Be very careful not to ruin this water. Yeah. Well, that's the first time all day, and it is absolutely a thunderstorm. Now that is dark. I agree, Sandy. The orchid does look better. I think I might have overdone it with the grass. No, I think we're good. Yeah, all right, cool. So that stuff is done. Uh, Jay Chris, the weekend's going great. Thank you very much. Yeah, have a fantastic weekend, as a matter of fact. Really good. Feeling really rested. I walked down to the market this morning, picked up some fresh strawberries and bread, and what else I get? Green beans, sweet potatoes. It's good. What do we need inside? Let's just, let's do a clean inventory sweep here. Get rid of all the things. I think I need to change the flower box that has all the darker colors in it to like a different color. Be helpful.
I actually am full up on jungle leaves. That's weird. Actually, I'm just probably put this in here to save myself some time. Now, uh, I wanted to do some armor stand stuff. Statue book. Those are usually good inside. What else do we want to put in there? Probably some mini blocks. Barrels, beehives. So I was thinking something like having a tripwire hook here would be good. Uh, can't really fit anything in there. That's where the door is. I wanted to put something on top of that. I wonder if a andesite, polished andesite mini block would look good. Sort of looks like functional. It's part of the chimney. Yeah, I think I like the andesite one. Or the polish, I should say. Happy, hello, welcome in. Hope you're having a good day. It's a little different, but I think it helps it feel a little bit more like Maybe like an air intake or something? I don't know. Well, air intake wouldn't be up there on the top of the chimney, but some sort of twisty mechanism thing. Uh, I think I might want to put more firewood in here. I think maybe another campfire there would be good. Because I think I have the part where, yeah, it disappears when it's extinguished. Probably a stone shovel would be good as well. This is such a small build that the inside details will not take that long. I'm gonna absolutely wrap this up today. I think that makes sense. It's that or I just do like a little mini mini strip log or something. I don't know if I have any strip logs. That's actually pretty good. Uh, and then inside, I don't, I could put a flower pot on the table. I'd like to put something over on countertop um, because of the the hue I wonder if like a fish would be good like a is it cod I don't know if I have any of those so for out here, what I'm going to do is use the armor stand for the shovel and I think I'll face the armor stand this way. 
trying to think about how this is going to be the easiest way to do it. Uh, no. Other way. Uh, yep, that should be good. That's the right arm, and we're going to go negative x. Yep, that's right. And then I think we need to tilt it the other way. So I think this is going to be the Z axis. Wow, I can't believe I got that right. I think that's pretty good. It'll be a lot smaller than I want it to be, but you can't make them any bigger. Uh, styles, no gravity. And this will be negative eight. Nope, wrong way. Time to hide the stand. Just a little bit too far. Yeah, I'm not even sure where I would go. Do I just grab a fishing rod and go down to the dock? I all I ever see in the rivers is salmon. I think that looks pretty good. I have gotten pretty quick with this stuff over the last little while. Yeah, subtle. Subtle, but it works. So then the only thing I want to do in here is have something on the counter. And I don't... I guess we could put like a pair of boots here or something like that. But boots always look kind of silly because you can see right through them. Some Someone was really nice and sent me like a custom model texture of boots. And I I haven't had a chance to actually use it yet. I don't want to do anything here because it's just going to bash you in the face when you walk by. So let's grab a flower pot and another blue flower. Sometimes you can get lucky with these. It's going to be behind the lilac anyway. Well, we didn't get lucky, but I think it works. It certainly works on the outside. I think it works on the inside, too. So it's only this space that feels really empty. Hmm. Not my favorite. 
What could we put there? I guess we could do... Like an item frame, maybe? Yeah, great minds, sweet Sandy. Great minds. So item frame, and I don't know what we could put in it. Oh no, the map's going to do the whole fill out thing. Maybe just the item frame will be enough. I mean, that's probably what we need there, but I don't know what we would put in it. <laughs> Maybe another blue flower. Or a lilac, maybe. I, You know, that's not bad. That's not a bad solution. Yeah, you know what? I think we'll keep it. It sort of looks like a pitcher. I never thought about using that. I should do that more often. Using flowers and picture frames as, as paintings. Because I don't like most of the paintings in Minecraft. And they would take up the whole block space. So it would look really odd. On like a one, one wide space. Uh, I don't think we have anything left to do in here. It is pretty simple. I don't see it being super decorated. I just, I do want to put something over there. I'm going to fly into, fly into my um, little storage room here. I must have a cod somewhere. I never throw anything out. I have a cooked salmon. I've got a raw salmon. If I had a cod, it would probably be there. Cod would just be the right color for the build, though. You know what I mean? Sorry for all the blinking. Mmm, they wouldn't be in there. Cods are ocean, right? How far to the nearest ocean? Not terribly far. Sweet berry in an item frame by the furnace? That might be a good thing to do too. First, we'll see if we can go fishing. I think I saw something over there. Dolphins. I don't want to kill dolphins. I want cod. Oh. Hello. Raw cod. I just think they go with the color in the building a lot better.
Is there anything you don't have something of somewhere? Uh, I would have cod somewhere else. I think, I don't remember what comes in with the guardian farm, but it's a cooked, I think it's cooked cod because we run everything through the, through lava. But I think if you didn't cook everything, then you would get regular cod. Don't often approach West Hill from over here. Elkhorn thinks another item frame on the back. Uh, no, I don't think I want to do that. I think it'd be too much. I just want to have something up here so it looks cool. Uh, yes. Gravity, no. Now, there is a preset for item flat on surface. Um, I don't always love it, but it's not bad. Oops. Can't tell if that's hovering. Maybe we'll move it just a little bit closer. Yeah, good. Um, I just thought because of the dock down here, it would make sense to have some fish from maybe down there. Could do that with a um, invisible item frame. So that's what I don't like. I don't the invisible item frame thing. It goes too far into the block, and it doesn't look good to me. I find that um, at least with this method, you have the whole pixel visible of the fish model. I find that when you use the item frame. Um, the flat on surface item frame it it pushes the pixel it like it's not a full square it pushes it into the into the surface where here the whole thing kind of stands out so we could still put an item frame around that i think if i really wanted to it would be off center but it might look interesting i think one of my favorite tricks has been putting an item frame in an armor stand Now if I can just, yeah, I, th I think it's, that's actually better, maybe. Now here, if I was to really get picky, unlock, nudge. Yeah, just not quite right. I think I like it better without. But I'm never going to get that off. Oh, there we go. I 
I just don't want it to look like a painting of a fish. <laughs> so I think I'll leave it like that. That's fine. If you really wanted to sell it, you could try to put two armor stands in there and have like two fish there, but I'll just leave it like that. Uh, but that's that's it. That's this build done, right? There's no more no more things. Debogged, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Need to be able to nudge half a pixel? Yeah. I can understand why they didn't do that because like it's bad enough one pixel at a time. Uh, but this is what I'm talking about. Uh, it's it's over the mantle in the the West Hill River Inn. It's the um, the armor stand item frame trick. So that's on an armor stand, but it looks like a painting because the armor stand is holding the item frame. The item frame isn't placed on the wall. I just it's such a subtle little fun thing. Like obviously. There's an item frame with the um, berries in it, like Elkhorn was suggesting, and that works out very well too. See, I there's so much stuff in this area, I forget what I've done and uh, and I have not done, you know. All right, uh, I guess I can put the salmon and stuff over here. I don't think I had any spaces to put. These little knick-knacky things. Not really. No, okay. Well, that worked out rather well. I like it when I can finish a, a build at the right time on stream rather than finishing something halfway through a stream and then having to figure out like what to do for the rest. But I think that's pretty good. Came from the Spawn Chunks podcast. Now that I finally have Twitch, I can watch the streams. That's awesome, Debogged. Very, very cool. Thanks for coming in. If you uh, if you want to see more of this stuff, you can go to Joel Duggan VODs on YouTube because all of this area, this entire this entire build has all been documented and it's all on, all on YouTube. There are VODs on Twitch too if you prefer to watch the VODs on Twitch. But uh, as I mentioned, I think what we'll do is we'll we'll put this path to the river down here this tree that's kind of like a like a rough idea right now and then this green space we'll put those in a different a different stream but this is it this is the little cottage along the road i'm pretty happy with that we've got all the textures done around the outside we've got the uh, little garden out back we've got little little touches like having a shovel leaning up against a tool chest little spare flower pots we've got Lots of cool things happening inside. Just really subtle little touches. Really like that. That was a great idea. Thank you for that chat. Uh, and then I really like this front little garden. And I'm I like the fact that we have like this functional uh, thing out front. You know, like it's just it's. You'd think that it would be out back, but if we did it here, we just we don't have the the space to do it. So it feels like a good. A good kind of fun thing to have out the front makes it feel a little bit less formal i guess more of a functional cottage than anything else but i'm quite happy with this so uh so folks thanks for hanging out uh debogged story you're walking in right at the end uh but i do stream on wednesday through saturday at one o'clock atlantic that's utc minus four hours so if you want to be around for the the start of those streams you can come by at one o'clock you can follow things like the sponge chunks podcast as well as the sizzle cafe podcasts wherever you listen to podcasts we are everywhere including youtube and now that johnny is back on the spawn chunks coming up this monday we will be returning to our full video versions on youtube for the spawn chunks uh it will be i think a uh, a really solid week uh not a lot of news but it'll be fun to hear about what johnny's been doing getting back into minecraft all that stuff uh do check out patreon as well if you'd like to join my discord if you want to hang out with some of the the crew here that you see in the chat then uh, check out patreon.com slash joel duggan it's one of the best ways to support me less than a cup of coffee per month and you get access to the discord and uh we talk about all kinds of things in there not just minecraft but this has been a fun little build i i'm assuming we'll do this next but i might not have the inspiration for it i might have to do something else so we will figure that out when we get there and uh that'll be on wednesday oh, oh no wait a minute i have windows being replaced in my apartment on wednesday so to be determined I might have to stream on Tuesday. So just keep an eye on Twitter. 
uh, and Discord. I will notify people as to what is going on. So I will talk to you all later. Bye for now.